Hey guys, this is Paish from Bvom.com and every time a new phone arrives in our office, well, the first thing we do is install PUBG Mobile on it and see how well the game runs on that phone. But for the ROG Phone 3, well, it's an altogether different experience. I mean, with the top and specs, features like air triggers, which work very similar to L1, L2, R1, R2 and gaming controllers, motion gestures, Game Genie and a lot of other advanced gaming features, the PUBG Mobile experience on this phone is just amazing. Plus, I know a lot of people are streaming their PUBG sessions on YouTube these days and this phone has features for that as well. So talking about the ROG Phone 3, you already know that this is probably the most powerful Android smartphone right now. I mean, Snapdragon 865+, Plus, LPDDR5 RAM, UFS 3.1 storage, these are the best you can get on an Android smartphone. And the benchmarks are great. I mean, these are the Geekbench 5 scores and they're clearly better than the 865 scores. Plus the phone has this 144Hz screen which is just crazy smooth. But hey, there's a hack going around that unlocks 160Hz refresh rate on the ROG Phone 3. Well, I obviously tried it out and I think it wasn't a big difference from 144Hz, but hey, I wanted to try it out. Anyway, let's not waste any more time and let me tell you all about my experience of PUBG Mobile on the ROG Phone 3. So when I first started playing PUBG Mobile on this phone, I changed a few options and settings to get the absolute best experience. First up, I obviously turned on the X mode, the high performance mode on the ROG Phone 3 and I love how the wallpaper changes when I turn it on. Next up, I open up PUBG Mobile and here I can just swipe from the left edge to bring Game Genie, the place where you get all the gaming centric features. Here I can increase the brightness and lock it, change the refresh rate of the screen, enable no calls and no alerts so that absolutely no one disturbs me doing something very important. Anyway, there's also the option to see real time info of the CPU, GPU usage, the battery, the phone's temperature and the FPS while gaming. It's super handy, so I obviously enabled it. Another thing I did is set up these floating window app shortcuts. So with this, even when I'm in a game, I can just open up an app like say Messages or WhatsApp in a floating window and check out my messages. There are a lot more options here, like the ability to go live on YouTube. And as you can see, it also uses selfie cameras. So it's clear that along with gamers, the ROG Phone 3 is also aimed at content creators who want to stream their gaming sessions. There's also the option to record the screen, create macros, set up crosshair, and obviously the super cool air triggers. Now, I obviously set up the air triggers. I mean, I'm not a pro gamer and I still don't have the gloss finger set up for PUBG Mobile. So the air triggers are pretty handy for me. So I showed you last time that there are dual partition air triggers now, so you can set two buttons on each of these ultrasonic triggers on the top similar to L1, L2, R1, R2 on controllers. Well, I set the two actions on the left to left peak and right peak. And for the right air trigger, I just set it to tap and I set it to shoot. I also set the motion control to reload, as you can see. Once I set everything up, I started to play and the gaming experience on the ROG Phone 3 has been fantastic. I mean, the phone obviously supports the max graphics, that's HDR and Extreme. And I've played all types of games with this graphics setting, all the maps, including the new Livic map, TDM matches and more and the performance has been just amazing. Coming from HDR high graphics on the Nord, the game just looks stunning on the ROG Phone 3. HDR just shows. And thanks to the extreme frame rates, the game just looks very smooth, no matter how intense things get. Plus the 25 millisecond response time of the screen makes the whole experience very responsive. Also, the air triggers make the experience way better. Here's me peeking from the left air trigger and shooting with the right air trigger. I've been playing with the setup for some time and it's just so much fun because now I can move around while I'm shooting which is something I failed to do with just two fingers on the screen. Also I've set the motion control to reload so I can just do this to reload and well it's just fun to use this gesture. Now you can obviously set the air triggers depending on you. You can set it to swipe gestures or slide gestures. There's a lot of functionality and it's very versatile so it all depends on how you use it. As for any heating issues, we all know about the elaborate cooling system in the ROG Phone 3 and I think it works. I mean, in my usage, the phone did not really heat up very easily, but after an hour or so of PUBG Mobile at max graphic settings, the phone does tend to get warm, but I wouldn't call it overheating. Plus, it does tend to cool down pretty quickly, so that's pretty good as well. Now, it's not just the performance or the air triggers or the motion gestures that make the PUBG experience of ROG Phone 3 so great. I like that the phone's bezels avoid accidental touches and I like that the phone has a 6000 mAh battery that lets me play the game for long durations without worrying about the phone dying. And when the battery does get low, unlike other phones, there's a charging port here so I can continue playing without the charging cable making things uncomfortable. Also, I know the phone does not have a headphone jack, but the other USB-C port can be used to plug in your USB-C headphones or even 3.5mm headphones with the dongle in the box. 
Plus the phone charge is pretty fast. The 30 watt charger in the box takes the phone from 10 to 50% in just 30 minutes. And the full charge takes around an hour and 40 minutes, which is pretty fast for that insanely big battery. Another thing I like here are the speakers. I mean, the speakers here are so loud, but the more interesting thing is that depth and surround sound effect that you get with these stereo speakers. Well, the speakers here are really good. I mean, you can listen to the PUBG music, right? And you know what, they are even better than the ROG Phone 2 and I noticed that you can even hear the footsteps of your enemies with these speakers. Now that's not something you can say with every other phone speaker. Plus there are four microphones here so your in-game audio is clear and nice. So yes, the PUBG Mobile experience on the ROG Phone 3 is awesome. But we always get these tweets and comments saying that we always play PUBG Mobile on any phone videos. So don't worry, I played a lot of other games on the ROG Phone 3. In fact, I set the air triggers in COD Mobile as well, another very popular game. And here too, I set the left trigger for scoping and the right trigger for shooting. And as you can see, the air trigger setup works very well in COD too. And this is me playing the game at very high graphics and max frame rates. And the game just looks super smooth and the visuals are just great. I also played Asphalt 9 and this is another intensive game that looks amazing on the ROG Phone 3 with high graphics and very smooth gameplay. I also wanted to test a few 144Hz games, so I downloaded a couple of fun games that I've played in the past, Into the Dead 2 and Injustice 2. And you know what, both games look and feel awesome, I mean the games are responsive and everything just flows. I especially like the great combo of high graphics and high frame rates in Injustice 2 because it looks crazy good. I mean, the action, all the movements are all very clearly visible thanks to the high refresh rate. Anyway, at the end of it all, if you ask me, yes, the ROG Phone 3 is the ultimate PUBG mobile smartphone. I mean, it's obviously very powerful with all the top end specs and the performance all around is fantastic. But what makes it truly amazing are the advanced features. The motion gestures, the gaming features, the streaming capabilities are just so good. Air Triggers 3 are a lot more versatile and it makes for some amazing functionality. The speakers are amazing, the battery awesome, and I like the thoughtful charging port and fast charging. See, the ROG Phone 3 is not the perfect smartphone, but it's definitely a great phone for anyone looking for the absolute best performance and the ultimate gaming experience. Well, that was my experience of PUBG Mobile on the ROG Phone 3, but what do you think of this phone? What do you think about the PUBG Mobile experience on this phone? Tell us in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.